Okay, good morning, Martin. So, ito, uh, let's continue the discussion on uh, RSM, no? or Response Service Methodology. So, we ended with yung first MSA run. No? So, what we did was, and let me just refresh your memory kung anong ginawa natin. No? So, ang una natin ginawa is, we computed for yung um, steps muna. No? So, we to get the steps, gagamitin natin yung formula na to. So, um, the engineers in this particular problem decided na they will move away from the center of the design, which is, which is yung una nating sinet siya, no? The center was at uh, 55, I believe. Wait, uh, double check, no? So we were at... We were at 35, yung time, 35 minutes. Tapos yung temperature is 155. So yun yung sa, kung sa coded settings pa, siya yung 0, 0. Okay, so yung 0 sa factor A. Zero din sa factor B or uh, zero sa X1 ta zero din sa X2. Tapos uh, the engineers decide, decided that yung um, by experience ano, and this is where your expertise comes into play um, na uh, magmove sila away from the center point by increments of 5 minutes. Okay? So when you move away from the uh, for by increments of 5 minutes you are actually, if you compute that into um, into your coded settings, increments of five minutes is increments of one coded unit for the X1 factor. Okay? So since you are moving by one coded unit X1 factor, kinumpute natin yung uh, equivalent dapat na movement ng X2 na factor using this equation. And we calculated na yung X2 should be moving at 0.4194. And, and again, this is coded units no, away from the mean. So when we input that into our uh, yung coded uh, to natural factors na equation, ang nakuha natin is um, the increments for your natural settings is at, uh, this is around 2.097. No? Okay, that's 2.097 for temperature. Okay, so we are moving five minutes uh, for time, tapos around 2.097 for the temperature and we do that until we hit uh, until the model does not anymore uh, or until the model breaks down essentially no? so as uh, if you look at the coded settings this is a, in terms of uh, one unit steps no? so one two three and so on and so forth until 10 and 11 tapos dito sa x2 we are moving in increments of 0.4194 and that is coded settings Okay, with uh, and if we translate that to natural settings, meron tayong mga dito. Again, these are all experimentally done, no? So, ito, ginawa talaga nila and they found the yield uh, here. So, they did the run and they noticed na uh, it's increasing, no? Uh, again, it's all, it's increasing. Nagtumataas yung yield, meaning we are uh, following the steepest ascent na, na path, kumbaga. So, that is the steepest ascent path for us to reach the maximum okay so we move up until uh, we do the experiments um, multiple times with uh, the increments that we have set tapos na notice nila na dito sa if you notice dito sa 10th na increment for the time and that is around 85 uh, 85 minutes na siya and a uh, temperature of 175.97 okay so ito yung uh, nakuha nilang value 80.3 which is almost double the yield no, of the original center point which is 40.4 Okay, then when the they increased uh, the run by uh, one more increment, so 11th and the 11th run, which is um, uh, at 90 minutes and uh, temperature of 178, um, na notice sila na yung value, no? So naging 79.2. So at this point, we can say na parang or we, we can um, we can speculate na hindi na uh, in kung bagan na reach na natin yung um, yung peak nung or na reach na natin yung parang end point nung steepest ascent uh, path na to. Okay? So, uh, and for this, um, after na reach na natin yung um, end point nung steepest ascent path na yon, we can uh, look for another steepest ascent path or uh, we could also speculate na baka yun na yung peak mismo ng or yung local maximum mismo ng response surface na curve na yon. Okay? So, 
um, we again set up another equation. No? Sabi natin na since dito tayo tumigil dito sa 85 and 90, then it will be reasonable na gumawa tayo ng um, experimentation within this uh, parang bounds no? in this region. So the experimenters decided that uh, they will use uh, an 85 na, na average. So, yung gagawin nilang new center point is 85, tapos yung temperature is 175. Okay? So, that is well within this ano, no, region na to. Kasi dito siya last nagkaroon ng ha, uh, kumbaga, dito siya last nag-work pa yung model natin, no? Itong 80.3. And by work, I mean siya yung last um, point or last step dun sa model wherein Uh, the model continuously gave us an increasing value dun sa yield. Okay? So, dito, pipili natin 85 as the new center point and temperature of 175 degrees Fahrenheit as the also the new center point for X2, which is temperature. No? So, now that we have this uh, new center point, we'll, uh, we'll use the same ano, no? um, parang uh, plus minus ng uh, increments for the time and temperature and yung original design natin was plus minus 5 uh, minutes tsaka plus minus 5 degrees. So we'll use that uh, same uh, increments. No? So uh, yung magiging low setting natin with, which is the negative 1 setting is uh, 80 uh, minutes for time. Tapos yung plus 1 which is the high setting will now be 90 uh, minutes. No? Tapos uh, yung temperature natin um, is also plus minus 5 minutes. So 170, oh, sorry, temperature setting I mean. So 170 degrees Fahrenheit will be the new low setting. That's negative one. Tapos yung uh, plus one, uh, yung plus one natin or yung high setting will which will be uh, your 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So atong malilang to no. Atong uh, nasa slide na to. This should be 180 kasi high high dapat siya. Okay. So let's copy this. Tapos punta tayo sa Excel kung paano natin siya ma magawa. Uh, but before that, doll, kasi hindi ko actually pinakita kung paano siya pinocompute. So, it may be worthwhile na ipakita ko sa inyo uh, kung paano yung calculations niya. No? So, let's do open a new Excel workbook. Okay. Okay, nakikita yung Excel file niya. So, ang ginawa lang natin is, uh, let's say, I call this delta x1. And uh, this is delta x2. Tapos, ang natural settings natin, let's place the natural settings here. One and x2. So, this is uh, coded. And this is natural. Okay. So, yung formula natin, di ba, is... Um, Again, since sinet kasi natin si delta x1, we are moving 5 minutes of increments of 5 minutes. So that's uh, if you convert that to yung uh, coded settings, that's actually one increment. No? So ito, let's just build the series. Uh, let's say ganyan. So in delta x2 natin, sabi natin it should be moving uh, using the formula. And I'll copy the formula para mas madali. No? it should be moving according to this formula no and this is delta okay okay and where b1 here is yung slope ng um yung term uh, adjacent to the x1 na component tapos yung uh, b2 is the slope for the x2 component okay so if we compute that this will become If we compute for delta x2, no, delta x2 becomes uh, delta uh, b1 uh, divided by delta x1 divided by b2. Tama? So yung uh, b1 natin is, let's, uh, I don't know, 0.775 siya. So that's equal to 0.775 uh, divided by, ah, no, sorry, it should be, Uh, if you want to get delta x2, then it's delta x1 divided by, uh, multiplied by b2 divided by b1. Okay, so delta x2 is point, uh, delta x1 is 0.775, and that is from the, I don't know, model equation. And I can copy it dito sa, I don't know, let me open the other file. No? Yung file na we worked on 
Steps. Uh, or better yet, pwede ang gawin natin is gamitin na lang natin yung same file na ginamit natin last time. Okay? So, this is better. So, let me close this muna. Okay? So, ito. So, gagamitin natin itong same file na ito, no? Mas madali yata. Kasi nandito na yung value. So, I can just do equals, no? Okay? So, if I do, ito, let's say, Uh, let's say MSA runs. Okay. So we do again coded, coded settings, tapos natural. Tapos we do delta x1, delta x2, and we have x1 and x2. Okay. Tapos, uh, Again, we're moving by one increment. So drag natin doon down. Tapos click natin itong button na to. You'll select fill series para lumabas itong ano. Okay. Tapos delta x2 is equal to b1. So if I do this one, uh, that's b1 multiplied by uh, this one. Tapos divided by yung x2 no which a uh, b2 which is this one okay so you in excel you can actually and even sa google sheets no you can actually reference cells that are outside of the current worksheet no as long as it, as it is in the in the same workbook actually kahit separate workbook magwo-work pa rin naman siya pero uh, parang kailangan nakabukas both workbooks in, in order for your uh, values to update no pero in any case ato pwede natin gawin siya so we get this value, no? Tama ba? A3, that's B1 and 11. Kahit lang class, ha? But iba yung lumalabas. Ah, no, sorry. Baliktad pala. Dapat uh, ito, N12 plus N11. Kasi numerator dapat si um, B2, tapos denominator si B1. Tama? So magiging 0.419. So dyan ang galing yung 0.419. And you can actually drag this down. No? I'm sorry. Uh, we'll do F4 para ma-fix natin itong two values na to. And we can drag this down. So you get itong values na to. So ito actually yung uh, parang increments na na gagawin nyo experimentally. No? Tapos yung natural settings niya, we can um, use the equation. No? And if you remember the equation, yung coded setting is equal to, and let me write down here, coded setting equal siya sa yung natural, we call uh, x prime is your natural setting, minus yung center point divided by yung high point minus center point. Okay? Parang ganyan. Yan yung equation natin. So if we want to get the natural setting, then we just multiply this one by the increment, no? And the high point setting for your uh, natural, uh, for your x1, which is time, is 35, uh, 40 minus 35, which is the center point. Tapos, uh, we, if we rearrange natin to, this is just uh, multiply tapos plus CP. Tama kasi lilipat yung CP doon sa left-hand side. Okay, so CP is 35. So you get this one. Okay, and you can uh, drag this down. No? Okay, so ito siya, settings. That's your natural settings naman natin uh, for X2 equals siya sa, and actually pwede natin siyang i, ah, hindi pala. So equals uh, dito, increment multiplied by high point. Ang high point setting natin is, uh, 160, tama? Minus uh, 155. Tapos plus 155, which is the center point. Run. Okay, so if we drag this down, we also get the natural settings. Tapos dito, ito, itong y na to na value, this is not from a formula, no? So hindi natin makukuha siya through formula. You can uh, 
get the response use uh, by doing actual experiments. No? So again, yung nasa slides dito, if I could uh, go back to the slides. No? Ito, yung nakita, nakikita natin dito sa slides, itong 40.44, uh, 41, 41.9, 43.1. Hindi yan kinuha using a formula. No? Kinuha yan experimentally. Okay? So, um, uh, you get experimental values here. So, ilagay ko lang experimental values in this column. Okay. So, you get experimental values. Tapos, dun sa experimental values, parang uh, na-notice nila na, sa again, as I mentioned earlier, and I can delete this part. No? Dito sa 10, 11 siya nagka problema. Okay. Kasi, uh, from 80, naging 79 siya. So, uh, you are now suspicious na baka at this point, hindi, hindi siya na yung end point ng uh, steepest, steepest ascent path natin. Okay? Which could indicate na baka ano na rin yun. Yun na yung local maximum for the region that we are investigating. No? Okay? So now that we have this, uh, we'll, uh, again, we'll do another run. No? So this is, uh, let's copy, ano no. So you do another run. Tapos, let me find the table now. Ito. Dito yung table. And we'll follow the, the same steps, no? Na ginawa natin. So, we're in... Okay. This is supposed to be 180, dapat to. Okay? Kaya si low, low siya. Okay, so... We do another experiment using the same methods na ginawa natin dito. Okay? Tapos, uh, we'll find the conclusion, no? And, in fact, pwede ko actually copy lang to, no? If I copy this, uh, I'll copy the formulas, no? Kasi, um, since these are the same number of rows and columns, same lang naman yung number of rows and columns, no? So, dapat, uh, ang mangyayari is if I move uh, the, if, if I copy the entire formula, dapat um, magre-reference siya sa new positions dito sa sheet na to. Okay? So, what I mean by that is, uh, let's let's copy it. Ano, uh, I'll just copy everything. And I'll place it in the new sheet. Uh, ilagay ko na lang siya diretso ganyan. No? Like so. Tapos, Ang babaguhin ko dito is actually itong yield yield lang no. So I'll change this yield. Replace natin siya. And notice na dynamic kasi yung formula natin no. So magbabago lahat 'yan. Uh, so ito 170. Ah uh, ito babaguhin din natin to no. Because these are the new set natural settings no. So yan. So you'll notice na nagbago yung uh, contrast natin, nagbago yung uh, Let me recheck the ano no. Baka kasi ah yung issue kasi dito is meron tayong mga inano. Ah okay lang pala. Wait, let me double check no. Some product. Wait, kan dito yung ah wala ah, klasa. For some product of Let me move four and two. Okay, one time and seventy eight point nine nine six and one and five, one and point five. Okay, time and so. Ito na yung new values natin. We have SS, uh, A, SSB, tapos ano. Tapos uh, since ito naka-dynamic din, nag-update din siya. Ang hindi lang dynamic dito is this one. No? So we can manually change this. So now this becomes y hat is equal to 70, 78.9, 78, 9, 78, 9, 78, 
tapos plus 1, x1, and 0.5 x2. Okay? Tama? So, again, that's the advantage of ano, class, no? uh, using dynamic formulas. Uh, kasi um, once you, uh, lalo na pag ganito, kunwari, um, it's actually the same formula for everything. Uh, tapos babaguin mo lang yung datas, data mo. So, and uh, let me change this. This should be 180. No? So, babaguin mo lang data mo. And in that sense, sobrang mas mapapabilis yung calculation nyo no? kung nakaset na siya. Okay? And in fact, Pwede nga actually ito, no? pwede din actually gawin natin dynamic itong formula na to. So what we could have actually done is, pwede i-formula natin, no? equals, so we do y hat, tapos ang gawin natin is, lagyan natin ng and, 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 so and indicates na parang kinukoncatenate nyo yung certain strings, no? so, uh, itong string na to, let's uh, enclose it in parenthesis. No? So we are saying y hat is equal to, then we do ito, uh, yan na natin sa cell na yan, plus. So yung plus is a string, no? Oops, sorry. Plus is a string. So lagyan natin ng quotation marks. Tapos and ulit. And again, kinoconcatenate natin. Tapos, uh, Itong 1 na to, this is uh, this cell. Concatenate again. And x2, another string. So, iano natin. Quotation marks. Plus, ito 0.5 is this value here. No? Tapos, concatenate again using and. So, you can also use the concat function. No? It, it works the same way. Ito, mas mabilis lang tong ampersand to kasi parang kumbaga uh, magko-connect lang siya ng multiple strings and values together no kung paano mo siya ni-layout so x2 last string natin okay and then uh, ah kulang ng ampersand dito okay plus ampersand so that should work oh equals single quotation marks lang ba let me Y hat let me change all of this in I think single quotation marks lang pala pag string yes, uh, palitan lang natin lahat Wait lang class, ha? Tama naman, double. May kulang ata sa ginawa ko. Baka dahil dito. General. And N12. Ah, okay. Thank you, Martin. Kulang pa siya ng X1. Ah, dapat hindi ko ito. Dapat dito. Thank you for spotting that out. No? Ayan. Okay na. So, ito. Nakasulat na siya. So, y hat is equal to. So, pwede. Y hat is equal to 78.9667 plus 1 times X1 plus 0.5 times X2. So, if I copy this, actually. If I copy this. Dito, it will give me that same ano no. So, magiging dynamic na yung formula natin. So, in next time na ikakopy natin to, to a new ano no, sheet, it will give me a uh, itong regression model na to or formula na to um, using the correct na coefficients. Okay? So, um, let's double check. Tama ba yung pure? Okay. And one thing I've also... Ano class, no? 
yung pure dapat should be the same pure na nakuha natin dito. Okay? So, may... Uh, I, I've, I've researched on this kasi diba last time parang um, I've, I've shown you na posibleng mali itong ano no? Kasi yung ginamit natin na this is, a, this is also pure error no? If you look at the first ANOVA this is actually pure error as well no? So I've shown you two, two, two calculations for the pure error. Sabi ko you can calculate it by using uh, var s. Pwedeng um, kun, kunin nyo lang yung variance ng mga center point runs. That should give you the pure error, or pwede rin na gawin nyo is, uh, that should give you the MSE, the pure MSE. So if you multiply that by the degrees of freedom, you get the sum squares of the pure error. No? Or you can also do is, um, you get the sum of squares, um, the SS value of the center point trans lang. So if I do uh, the calculation, is it's 40. Uh, ito, ito mga values to center point runs. So, sum squares niyan minus yung parang correction factor using center point runs alone. So, that's uh, sum square uh, 57, uh, F7 to F11 minus sum ng F7 to F11 squared divided by yung number of, uh, of center point runs. Okay? So, yan yung value na yan. So, yan yung actually yung ginagamit din natin for yung pag nagtototal tayo. Tama? So, ito, uh, another calculation also if you notice, ito kasi, again, if you expand uh, this one or if you, uh, this cal uh, calculation actually comes from the sum of squares ng um, y minus y bar. So, it's the same, no? So, if I do if I do equals sum square nitong y minus y bar of the center point runs, oh, no, sorry, of the center point runs, uh, that's y minus y bar. Wait, tang, ah. y minus average. Ah, okay. If I do y minus, dapat y minus y bar. Ito, y minus y bar ng average. No? If I do this, and let me drag this down. Ay, hindi ko pala pwede baguhin to kasi magbabago tong total no so hindi natin babaguhin yan so let's just uh, do another ano no y minus y bar dito so if i do y minus y bar for the center point runs it actually gives me the same value no so so y minus uh, y bar is average of uh, these values f4 so if i take the sum of square nito i will actually end up with the same value dito now so this is using uh, yung parang expanded form niya this is using yung uh, summation ng uh, close uh, quantity y minus y bar squared. Okay? So, parang ganyan siya. Okay? So, uh, it should give you the same value, no? And I've, I've looked into it. And let me just delete this, no? Kasi para hindi tayo malili to. I've looked into it. At, uh, dapat hindi ito yung formula na ginagamit for pure, no? Dapat ang ginagamit natin is, and I'll just delete it para ano, no, mas ma... Na tayo. And I'll probably make an announcement dito no, para yung, yung um, uh, I'm talking to Sir Terence tapos kin nagko-consult ako sa kanya. Uh, tapos uh, chine-check namin kung baka may something wrong with the module no. Tapos uh, baka i-revise namin yung module if we do find out that this is uh, that, that there was something wrong with it no. Tapos we will probably make an announcement na lang. So if we do this, uh, the pure error should be equal to just uh, this value, no? Kung ano yung natin dito. Okay? So, let's uh, change that as well. Gawin natin na uh, pure error is this one. Okay? So, tanggalin na natin to. Okay? So, meron na tayong... Ano ba yung... Ano natin? So, uh, we've already completed it. Tapos... Uh, you can see dito, again, 
naka-set up na yung mga equations na to, no? And let me just label this, no? This is ANOVA for uh, the first order. Uh, this is ANOVA for the, uh, ano, no? Uh, parang yung 2 to the K na design. This is ANOVA for the 2 to the K design. And this is the ANOVA for the uh, first order uh, model, no? Okay? So we check no, and this is the model. Uh, ito na yung SS niya. Tapos uh, we look at the lack of fit term no. Uh, dito sa lack of fit na source, we are saying na if it's significant, then um, then there is uh, the data does not adequately fit the model, or the model does not adequately fit the data that is given to us. Kasi may significant yung lack of fit, and we can see that dito. The p-value is less than 0.05. It's a very small value. Therefore, uh, this is significant. And we are saying that model uh, does not adequately fit the data. Okay. And oh, wait, not last. Let me open a new file. Okay. Uh, you'll notice na dito opposite yung naging conclusion natin dito sa part na to, no? Uh, you say dito na not significant siya, which is saying that the model adequately fits the data. Tama? So in this sense, um, yung first order model na to, uh, pwede siyang gamitin for a method of steepest ascent na run. Tama? Kasi ito na yung nakalculate natin. Uh, tapos gagawa tayo ng MS, tapos gumawa tayo ng experimental runs such as this one. Tapos may data tayo nakuha. Okay? Pero this time, uh, since significant yung lack of fit natin, uh, we can conclude na hindi na nag adequately fit yung model and therefore, hindi na pwedeng gamitin tong new new equation na to, ito, uh, for your method of steepest ascent runs. So if that's the case, we'll have to convert our equation or, or, or a, we need to upgrade the design of the experiment into a uh, yung tinatawag na central composite design, no? And this is for us to be able to generate a second order model because um, since the first order model does not fit, then we need to upgrade it into a second order model. Okay. And uh, before that, pala, no, uh, I'll quickly mention na itong sa ANOVA 2 to the K natin, uh, you need to also do the steps first. No? Diba sabi natin na isasama mo lang yung term pagka significant yung isang model. And if you look at this, all values at 0.009 and actually para maging uh, dynamic talaga to pwede pa lang uh, ginawa natin is if function no so dito dapat ang ginawa natin is equals uh, if this value is less than um, 0 0.05 then we say significant else not significant i sorry kulang na isang quotation mark. Okay? So, pwedeng ganyan. No? So, it will give you the same value para nung pagka kinapipaste natin siya, it should give uh, the same na or it should evaluate it the same the same way. No? So, you can see dito, uh, dynamic din magbabago to depending on what p-values lumabas dito. So, uh, you'll notice na significant si A, significant si B, hindi significant si AB. Uh, therefore, since significant yung main effects, ay sasama natin lahat ng terms sa model. No? So, uh, just to ano, no? refresh your memories dun sa last week discussion natin. Pagka uh, yung isang uh, main effect is significant, isasama natin sa model. Okay? If, if, in, if in case na yung isang main effect hindi siya significant pero yung interaction niya is significant, then we also include them in the model. So, it is shown in, if I could go back to the slides, no? And dito siya. Ito. Uh, so, 
again, uh, i- ano lang natin. So only factors proven to have a significant effect must be included in the optimization or the regression model. If a main effect turned out to be insignificant, but as long as it is involved in a significant interaction, it should also be considered as well. Okay? So, kaya si sinasama natin uh, kahit hindi uh, significant yung main effect. No? Pero significant yung um, interaction niya. Pero in this case, both significant naman ang main effect as ang um, interaction effect is not significant. Okay? So, sinama natin kaya dito sa equation na to, uh, so, ito hindi natin ma-optimize. Pwede pa natin ma-further optimize. No? So, pwede actually may mga if functions pa tayo dito. So, if uh, this value is significant, then we include this term. If not, then we don't include the term. Pwede may ganun pa kayo. No? Pero, that in that case, medyo ano na yun, no? matrabaho na yun. Baka mas madali na lang if i kay manually i, i not include nyo na lang siya dito sa equation na to pero it's up to you if you want na fully op, uh, automized or uh, automated kumbaga lahat ng ano uh, equations pwedeng lahat gawin nyo as in dynamic talaga walang um meron talagang certain criteria for you to include or not include a certain factor so pwedeng ganun no? Uh, and I'll leave it to you guys to figure it out on your own. Uh, but uh, it's just a series of if if functions. No? Okay? So, dito, um, uh, tama naman na sinama natin lahat ng uh, yung two, ano no, two, two factors kasi significant naman siya. So, uh, at ito na yung model natin. Tapos, ginumuguma tayo ng isa pang ANOVA to assess this first order model which is itong y hat is equal to 78.97 plus 1 x1 plus 0.5 x2 okay and uh, and again dito sa second first order model na to na uh, anova for the first order model ang importante lang sa atin is uh, yung lof no and notice na hindi na natin chinek actually to no tong lack of fit na lang okay sub textbooks actually naka divide pa tong lack of fit no so meron pa siyang um, residuals na error may pure error tapos etong LOF naka-divide into two no yung residual tapos yung uh, yung ano tawag dito yung pure quadratic so yung pure quadratic parang sinasabi niya is um, if uh, quadratic ba yung magiging equation so if it's significant and then parang sinasabi natin na uh, ano no uh, kumbaga high, highly likely na yung regression mod yung model natin should not be a linear equation but it should be a quadratic equation okay sorry uh, so ito pwede pa siyang ma-divide into uh, interactions actually ito kasi is interactions plus yung uh, pure quadratic okay so if i can ito pero in, in this uh, course hindi na natin din distinguishes no sinasabi lang natin na uh, yung two terms na yun magkasama na lang sila sila yung LOF na term so if it's uh, high sum of squares or significant siya which indicates na meron tayong lack of fit, fit na na detect so uh, pwede tayong magsabi na LOF detected so the model does not adequately fit the data okay so pwede rin dito lagyan na lang natin din LOF not detected. Okay. And again, pwede nyo i-automate din ito, no? Pero uh, mahaba yung, ano, no? Para may mga certain if functions pa kayo. Okay. So, ito, since um, hindi na siya, kumbaga yung regression model na to hindi na nag-fit sa data, hindi tayo pwedeng gumawa ng ganito no yung tulad nito yung hindi tayo pwedeng mag-experiment ulit for a another step as a central okay so gagawin natin is i convert natin siya into a central composite design so what that means is so balik tayo dun sa slides okay so this is the same conclusion na ginawa natin no and Uh, if you check the values, we have the same uh, value na nakuha, no? So, the LOF, wait, 
parang may iba. Hmm. Five the ground down ba to siya? We although we have the same ano no? 78.96 one and five same naman. Ito lang magkaiba no. We have the same pure error 2.12. Total error is 11, same total, 16.120. Iba lang yung sa model natin. Oh. Bakit iba yung model term niya? Let's... Y predicted minus Y bar. Baka may, uh, I'll, I'll have to check kung sino yung mali, no? yung, kung ito bang slides. Let's consult the ano, no? module, kung ano yung nakuha sa module. Modules, ano ba yung value niya? Although, uh, same conclusion lang naman siya class, no? Uh, just for accuracy, no? since nagre-request kayo na isend ko din tong slides na to, no? Baka malito kayo kung bakit magkaiba yung sagot. Okay, look at the slides. Uh, I'll look at the slides now. Oh. Mali. Point eight to five. Okay, okay. Magkaiba din sa slides. Magkaiba ba? Same ba sa model? A module? Uh, Martin says same sa module. I'm checking it now, no? I... Unless mali tong tinitingnan ko. Martin says same lang daw. So I'll take your word for it, Mad Martin. No? So sa slides, uh, baka may konting mali lang dito slides. No? I'll have to edit the slides before sending it to you guys. Okay. So yan na, na lang natin. Saan kaya siya nagkamali? Baka na ground off lang siya somewhere kaya ganun. I'm double checking. Ah, okay. Iba yung SS values. Okay, anyway, mukha nga nga ano, no? Um, itong 16.12, same lang naman siya. So, ang magkaiba is actually si, itong SS ng mo model, no? It's 5. All other values are the same, no? Yung SS ng regression lang, ginawa niyang 5 instead of uh, 4.4225. So, dun siya, kaya nagkaiba tong LOF na value. Pero in any case, same lang naman yung conclusion which is um, kailangan natin mag-upgrade into a uh, com central composite design para um, ma-solve natin yung uh, second order model. So to upgrade it to the second order uh, or to a central composite design, um, kailangan natin yung tinatawag na star point settings. No? So more of this will be discussed do doon sa module. So hindi ko na masyadong mag-get into it. Pero yung star point settings is essentially... Um, para siyang uh, meron kang alpha value na siniset uh, that is or, or meron kang uh, siniset na distance away from the center point runs uh, using an alpha value. No? So that is where your star point runs are. So um, you have the same ano, may 2 to the K ka na treatment combinations plus the central 
um, central na central point runs uh, which is coded as zeros tapos dadagdagan mo pa ng um, ng ng star point runs mo okay so uh, depending on the number of factors mag mag-iiba yung magiging um, uh, yung alpha value mo no so for this case since we have an uh, Number of factors is two. Ang alpha na gagamitin natin is actually 1.4142. This is actually the square root of two. Atong value na to. Uh, pero hindi necessary na yung um, yung alpha is equal to square root ng number of factors. No? Hindi necessary. Kung kunwari, yung three, hindi naman square root of three is equal to 1.6818. Tapos square root of five is not necessarily 2.3784. Although square root of four is two. No? Pero you, you'll use tables like this to determine kung ano yung maging alpha, alpha value na. And in this particular course, uh, we, we don't go more than two factors. Kasi masyadong complicated na yun. We only do uh, two factors lang. So um, in your in your exams probably, um, ang lalabas lang is alpha value of 1.414. Okay? So now that we have our uh, coded na star point settings, uh, which is... Uh, one, plus minus 1.414 no so if you do the ano uh, uh, parang combination then you'll have or permutation i mean then you'll have uh, four na treatment additional treatment combinations no? so meron kang uh, minus 1.414 minus 1.414 so that's x1 and x2 tapos meron kang uh, minus plus tapos meron plus minus and lastly plus plus okay so uh kakaroon tayo ng additional ano uh, sorry uh Ah, okay, okay. Uh, so, so you don't actually do co combinations. Now, what we do is um, you set one of the uh, factors as uh, a center point. So, maging zero siya. And another of the factor uh, is a set mo as low and high uh, alpha setting. Okay? So, so, magiging ganito yung coded setting natin. So, it's yung time natin uh, is zero, zero. So, we have uh, plus 1.414 sa temperature and minus 1.414. Tapos dito naman. Uh, si time naman yung may plus 1.414 and minus 1.414 with temperature uh, having the uh, zero coded settings or the um, as, as the center point. Okay? So, ito yung four additional na idadagdag natin. And, siyempre, i-convert natin to into actual settings no? or natural settings. And the way we do that is gagamitin lang natin yung uh, equation natin. No? So uh, the equation is again, coded setting is equal to natural quantity, natural setting minus center point over high high setting minus uh, center point and quantity as well. Okay. So using that, pwede mo nang i, ano, uh, i convert into natural settings. And when you have your natural settings, ito siya. Uh, so meron kang time of 85, 182 yung degrees Fahrenheit, tapos 85 na time, 167 degrees Fahrenheit, and so on and so forth. Now that you have this actual natural settings, ang gagawin mo is we do, you do the experimental runs again. So, um, magdadagdag ka ng four additional runs which is um, added to this experimental run. So, di ba, ginawa na natin to. So, meron tayong uh, yung 2 to the K which is atong 1 to 4. Tapos, nagdagdag tayo ng 5 center point runs which is run 5 to 9. Dadagdag pa tayo ng 4 additional which is uh, should be run 10 to 13, no? Tama ba? 10, 11, 12, 13. Tama. Run 10 to 13, dadagdag tayo ng mga star point uh, settings natin no? or star point runs. Okay? Tapos, um, doon sa star point runs na yun, syempre, you will get, uh, again, hindi siya kinocompute uh, mathematically, no? Kung baga, in-experiment na talaga siya and you want to determine the yield. Now that you've gotten the yield, and eto parang ano lang to, no? Uh, this is just how you get the uh, coded uh, equations no? using the, the formula that I've shown you. So, once that you've gotten the I don't know, the final, so magkakaroon ka ng parang ganito. So, this is the uh, st ito yung additional. So, ito yung first nine na ginawa natin. Tapos, nag-additional tayo na star point uh, runs, no? which is this one. So, uh, dagdag natin sa table to. So, dun sa... Sh 
Okay, so I'll just copy this value. Lagtay ng isang value table pa no. So I'll copy and let me transition to Excel again. So this time, ang gagawin natin is ah copy natin tong mga values nito. So I'll just copy this one. Eto siya. Tapos ang idadagdag natin is yung mga start point trans. No? So that is the uh, negative uh, zero zero. And this is arbitrary lang naman class, no? So uh, pwede mo siyang i-rearrange. Ang arrangement na ginawa dun sa table na yun is and let me copy the table no? para mas madali natin siya maano. Okay. Copy lang natin dito and let me Lower that. Tapos zoom in tayo. So, dagdag tayo ng 1.414. Negative 1.414. Tapos we have 0 and 0. Tapos so, 0, 0 dito. And 1.414. Ah, para mas ano class na no? kasi eventually square kasi natin ito. Um, meron kasi tayong equation, uh, calculation na gagawin da later on na uh, mag-square tayo. So, ang gawin ko na lang is gawin kong x square root of 2 para mas uh, accurate siya, no? So, that's what I'll do. Tapos, ito equals negative square root of 2. Okay? And I'll just copy this one. Okay? So, yan. Um, again, uh, this will make sense uh, more sense later on, no? So, if I were to compute the star point settings, ito siya, magiging ano lang to? Uh, natural settings, I mean. This will be 1.414. Uh, this coded multiplied by high setting natin is uh, 85. Tama? Ah, no, sorry. High setting natin is 90. 90 minus 85. And again, this is just the formula for converting uh, a coded setting to natural setting. No? Uh, 95 plus 85. So you get 90.07, which is the same value as this one. Okay, so yeah. So you notice that it also actually works for uh, zero point trans. No? Kasi since it's based on the parang um, parang kung ano yung sinet natin na increments kumbaga ng ano natin. Uh, high and low setting. Okay. So tapos eto, i-move natin to the right. It will actually just shift. no. Pero this time, babagawin natin tong value na to. Instead of 90 and 85, this should be 180 and 175, which is the center points, uh, which is the uh, high point and center point settings respectively for temperature. No? So, ito magiging 175. And move that in downwards, which would give us the same value dito. Okay? So, uh, <clears throat> again, itong natural settings, hindi talaga ito ginagamit uh, sa ano no statistical analysis natin kasi when we do statistical analysis coded settings lang naman ginagamit natin pero this is important because uh, for you to do the experimental runs you don't use coded settings you you, you use natural settings so it is uh, equal important no, when you are doing this in re in the real world okay so eto uh, we can copy the pwede kong copy tong yield no so eto copy ko lang yung values uh, pero ito, since naka-image to, I'll just have to manually input it. No? So that's 78.84, 75.6, 78.5, and lastly, 77. Okay, ito yung yield natin. Okay, so we can delete this now, no? Okay, so balik tayo sa slides. So, gagawin natin is we will produce a second-order model of this form. So we have uh, multiple terms here, no? So we have uh, term, uh, mga B terms. And <laughs> ito yung mga coefficients natin where B naught is actually the intercept. Uh, is, is actually a constant, no? Tapos yung uh, B1 pataas, that is uh, your parang ano, uh, your constants, no? For, or your coefficients for your um, different na uh, factors. Okay? So ito, magiging ano lang siya you have your term uh, b1 that's for x1 b2 is for x2 b11 so this is this is different from b1 no so b11 is for 
x1 squared, b22 is for x2 squared, tapos meron tayong last na b12, uh, and b12 is for uh, the product of x1 and x2. So ito yung magiging final second order model na gusto natin i-produce from this CCD design. Okay? To get this, uh, para makuha natin tong ano no, yung yung uh, b's na to ito mga different b b values kasi ito lang naman kailangan natin para ma-produce yung second order model no kailangan natin gamitin tong mga equation na to and note na itong equations na to is specifically um catered for the um where you use an alpha setting of 1.414 no so hindi to pwedeng gamitin kung kunwari gumamit tayo ng alpha setting for kunwari yung four factors which has an alpha setting of uh, two no or yung gumamit tayo ng ng three na factors which has a uh, uh, separate alpha setting on its own no so ito specific itong formulas na nakikita niyo ngayon sa screen this is specifically for uh, for two factors lang which has an alpha of 1.414 okay so maraming formula no so you can compute for b1 b2 b12 Uh, separately. So, meron siya equation na ganito. Pero, yung B11, B22, and B0 can only be solved using a matrix. No? So, ito yung matrix calculation natin. So, we'll use the same matrix calculation na ginamit natin dun sa if you remember yung long method na ginamit natin sa multiple linear regression, you'll, you'll actually need to use that method again. Okay? So, para lang mas madali, no? I'll just copy all of these equations. Excel para guided tayo. No? Okay, and let's bring it down. Okay, so we have a guide. Nothing. So let's first compute for yung B1 lang muna. No, yun ba pinaka madali? Uh, yung mga constants lang muna. So we use B1, B2, and B12. Compute lang natin to. So this is straightforward. We just use summation ng mga x1, 1, and summation of x1, 1, uh, multiply that by the product of y1. Okay? So this is, oh wait, is this coded settings? Uh, wait lang class. Uh, I'm trying to figure out kung coded, uh, alam coded settings. This is supposed to be coded settings. So let me double check. So let me open. Okay, so this is coded settings. Okay, uh, I'm not quite sure kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng notation at the class, no? kung bakit siya X11. Ah, sorry. Thank you, Martin. So dito, I'm, uh, I'm not quite sure kung ano yung ano, no? And let me complete uh, lang natin, no? So B1. Uh, B not B1, B2, B12, tapos B11, B22, uh, tsaka may kulang pa ba? Tama na, no? We have all the... Ano, no? So, eto, solve lang muna natin using the first three equations. So, etong B1 is actually... Ito, it says um, X1, no? Um, I I'm not quite sure kung bakit X sub 11 yung um, name ng term, pero this is just actually some product no array x1 which is this one this is array x1 tapos we have some product ah sorry array x1 multiplied by y and you divide that by 8 no okay so that's the, your b1 term b2 natin is some product of array 2 which is this one this is the x2 no coded setting for x2 multiplied by 
Itong y. Okay? So, you have 4.1. Ah, divided by 8 pa. Sorry. Divided by 8. So, that's 0.5157. Does B12 is equal to some product uh, ng X1, X2, and Y? Okay? Divided by 4 naman nito. Okay? Uh, let me check if I have the same. Okay? Same lang na ng constants. Okay? So, now let's solve for yung mga B-nots. No? So, to solve this, kailangan natin i-set up tong matrix na to. So, um, if you remember how to set up this uh, matrix equation, um, para magawa yan, uh, the first matrix, if we, I call it matrix A, no? yung 3 by 3 matrix natin, the first matrix is actually just yung ano niya, uh, coefficients. The second matrix is kung paano yung pagkasunod-sunod ng mga variables. Okay? So, if I do a times B, uh, let's say B dito, dito ang C. So that's A times B, uh, center lang natin to, is equal to C. Okay? Oh, no, sorry. Lagi natin apostrophe para maging ano siya, text string. Okay? So that's A, to matrix A times matrix B is equal to matrix C. So matrix A natin is kung ano yung coefficients again. So N is number of uh, um, number of uh, experimental runs na ginawa natin. So, we have 13 runs. Tama? So, or you can also do just count. Count lang natin kung ilang experimental runs siya. So, that's 13. Tapos yung um, 8. This is 8. 8. Ito, naka-constant sa masyano. So, this is 8. 8. This is 12. Ah, sorry. 12. This is 4. 4 and 12. So, again, it's a symmetrical matrix along the diagonal na. Okay, so ito, 8, same lang sila, 8, 8, 4, 4. Okay, tapos yung B matrix natin is uh, kung paano uh, yung pagkasunod-sunod ng uh, mga numbers na to, no? or, or variables na to. So we have B naught, B11, and B, B22. So B naught, B11, B22. So this becomes B naught, B11, B22. Tapos this is equal to the C matrix which is Yung first one is just summation of y. So we do sum of y. Tapos etong isa is the sum product ng x squared y1 and sum product of x squared y1 tong sa. So we actually need to do an additional na ano. No. Palitan ko ulit, ulit to ng x1 and x2 class no, para mas, uh, mas consistent yung mga symbols natin or variables natin. So, um, we need to add x1 squared tsaka x2 squared. So, eto, meron tayong uh, bagong ano, no? Pumasok, which I believe is mag, uh, ano, magka-campaign. So, okay lang ba Tapusin ko na lesson, tapos although isa lang yung nandito, si Martin lang, so hindi ko sure kung uh, sabagay, pwede ka mag-campaign to Martin. No? Okay, and since recorded to, pwede namang isa-send ko to. So, you, your campaign will be also heard sa mga manonood ng eventual video na to. Okay lang Yusa Maon, tama ba? Yusa yung name. And meron pa tayong isa si Miles Garcia. Thanks, sir. Okay, okay lang. Eh, tapusin ko lang yung lesson tapos bigyan ko kayo ng opportunity para mag-campaign. Ah, eh, tama ba ang assumption ko? Magka-campaign kayo? Yes. Yes, possibly. Kasi amin po namin yung counselors namin. Okay, sige. Tapusin ko lang lesson na tapos I'll give you uh, an opportunity. Yes, sir. But you're welcome to um, watch the lesson as well. No? Okay, so saan tayo tumigil? Uh, we are calculating for yung ano no, um, etong C matrix natin. So, nakalculate na natin yung Y1 which is just the summation of the Y values. No? Tapos, para makompute natin yung um, sum product nitong X squared and Y, kailangan natin ng isa pang column, no? which is yung X, X1 squared na column tsaka X2 squared column. So, this is supposed to be X2 squared. Gagawin lang natin is equals square. Okay? 
Tapos, pwede natin i-drag downwards as pwede na natin i-drag to the right. Oh, kasi mag-move siya. And notice na, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na kaya ginawa kong square root of 2 to para sakto na magiging 2 tong values na to. Kasi if I use the um, the rounded down value, no? itong 1.414, ang makukuha ko is 1.9994 which is uh, close to 2 pero para lang mas accurate siya. No? Let's just use. At saka mas maganda tingnan. Gamitin natin yung square root na lang para 2 to. Okay? So, we have our x squared. So, pwede na tayo mag-compute ng uh, c natin. Yung c term natin is just as yung second value ng array na to is sum product ng x squared 1, 1, y. So, that's x squared and yung y which is this one. Okay? So, that's 6, 1, 9. Tapos, itong isa naman is sum product again, sum product of x2 squared, which is this one, multiplied by y, which is this one. Okay? Meron tayong uh, A matrix na to, natin, tapos may B matrix tayo, tapos may C matrix tayo. So, ang gagawin natin is, um, yung same calculations natin, no? So, sabi natin na, yung sabi natin, if A um, times B, if A times B is equal to C, then B is equal to A, the inverse of A multiplied by C. Okay? So, ito, uh, you can learn more of this. Uh, lin I'm assuming that you have linear algebra, no? And, pero, i-discuss din nata to sa isang ES, no? I'm not sure kung, or sa math, uh, I'm sorry, triple ME21. Ang alam po, i-discuss din to, no? But anyway, ito yung ano no, matrix na calculations na gagawin natin. So to compute for itong unknown natin which is B0, B11 and B12, uh, B22, we need to multiply the inverse of this function uh, by this uh, or the inverse of this matrix times this matrix. Okay? So let's first get the inverse of the matrix now. So if the inverse of the matrix is equal to we do m inverse, uh, m inverse walang dot in, in inverse. So again, uh Yung dati kasi, the way we do, did this in older versions of Excel, no, you need to select uh, the, the three. And this may be useful kasi baka il ilan sa inyo gumagamit ng uh, old version ng Excel. So kailangan yung i-select muna to, itong tatlo. Then, uh, or yung 3 by 3 matrix natin. Then you uh, type in M inverse and you select uh, the inverse uh, the function or the array that you want to have the inverse of. Then before you press enter, you need to select control shift tapos enter to get the array function. Parang ganyan. So that is uh, for for old Excel users, ganyan siya. No? Pero if you have a new version of Excel and even Google Sheets, automatic na siya. No? Hindi nyo actually kailangan i-select lang. Pwedeng diretso na na. Kunwari ganyan. M inverse. Tapos diretso. Tapos hindi nyo, hindi nyo na rin kailangan i-input as an array function. No? So hindi nyo kailangan yung control shift enter. Diretso enter lang tapos it actually produces the array on its own. So notice na meron siyang parang nakashaded na border dito. So that is saying na ito yung the result ng pagproduce niya ng N inverse. No? So older, again, older versions of Excel do not do, do this automatically. So if you have an older version, baka kailangan yung gawin yung una kong ginawa, no? yung array function. Select muna yung 3 by 3 uh, Tapos uh, before you press enter, control shift yung ipipindutin nyo to produce an array function. Okay? So this is... Uh, uh, the inverse of the function. So if you want to get the B not ngayon, equal to sa, equals uh, M mult, we do M mult, no? M mult, this array, okay, multiplied by this array. Okay? And you should get this one. So again, auto automatic na rin to, no? Pero dati, uh, what we use for old versions of Excel, kailangan i-select yung muna ng ganyan, equals M mult, Select this one, then you select this one, tapos control shift enter. But in this case, uh, it will still give you the same answers. Lang naman, no? Okay? So we have this one. Uh, this is now, etong values na to, this is our B0, B11, and B1, uh, B22, I mean, B22. So if we do equals B0, equals B11, tapos equals B22. Okay, so now that we have our constants, uh, we can now um, 
use this to make the model. No? And actually, yun na yung ta katapusan ng, ano, no? ng step na to. So, we can now have the second order model. So, our second order model will look like this. Y is equal to uh, 79.94 plus um, B1 is 0 0.99 and I'll round up those. No? multiplied by 0 0.991 x1 plus 0 0.515 x2 plus 0 0.25 uh this is b one two ah sorry ito mo nang b11 no? times zero uh, one negative so that's one negative 1.3 uh eight multiplied by x uh x square x1 squared tapos last is minus 1.001 x2 squared and sorry ito pala yung last term and the last term is the b12 term no which is 0 0.25 x1 times x2 okay so this is our uh, second order model so um since you have a second order model kumbaga uh, if you look at the response surface para siyang and let me shift back and saglit lang mga magkakampena so malapit na to so if you look at the model that um yung yung quadratic equation na yon um will will be this one no so siya yung local na curvature na to okay so Para siyang ganyan. So, ito mas malinaw, no? So, magiging local curvature. So, so this actually follows the, the parang quadratic equation, no? So, ganito siya. So, for you to be able to find the maximum, you can either uh, you can either do a optimization. Uh, kung, pwede nyo, if you have a plotter, no? Kung kaya niya mag-plot ng 3D model, uh, pwede nyo i-plot yung equation na yun to produce this surface. Tapos, hanapin nyo na lang yung maximum. Or, another one is you can uh, use yung you can use mathematics to find the maximum no so if you remember your math hindi ko alam kung anong math nyo to either 22 or 21 um to get the maximum of a curve what you need to do is to get the derivative and make it equal to zero no and for this case since this is a equation with two uh, variables no so parang function of ano kasi to x1 and x2 so for you to get the for you to get the uh, local maximum or minimum depending on what this equation actually looks like no kung uh, curve concave ba siya or convex pero to get the local uh, ang gagawin niyo actually is uh kukunin niyo yung derivative uh, yung derivative partial derivative niya in in terms of with respect to x1 you equate that to zero so makukuha niyo dito from here makukuha niyo yung x1 value Tapos you get the partial derivative of x2 and you also equate that to zero. Then you get the uh, value for x2. Okay, so I trust that you already know how to get the partial derivatives, no? Uh, from your math 21 and 22, ba? Tama? From your uh, from your math uh, um, courses, kaya nyo na tong ma-derive in uh, with respect to x1, chaka with respect to x2, and you equate that to zero to find x1 and x2 and that will be your optimized setting no? so you, you know magiging optimized value no so if you were if i were to ask you or, or if the problem were to ask uh, find the uh, maximum values for uh for this uh, particular na na scenario no then you get uh, the x1 and notice na yung x1 and x2 na to is still coded no so whatever value na nakuha niyo dito and hindi ko na siya ipapakita ngayon no pero whatever value na nakuha niyo dito coded pa yon so kailangan niyo siyang i-convert pa into natural setting so again coded siya so parang ganito ito ito yung coded so i-convert pa natin into natural setting such as this one so that is the final answer no yung meron kayong optimized time and meron kayong optimized temperature so you would imagine no if this were a real world na experiment Sobrang dami ng steps na kailangan yung gawin actually to do this uh, to do this optimization runs. So you have to do first lang gawin natin is you start from a center point tapos hanap tayo ng uh, linear model MSA run tapos after ng MSA natin na model which is this one gagawa tayo ng MSA run. Sobrang daming experiment. You look at the different values 
you end where it the where the model breaks down yung nag dip yung ano yung ano natin yung yield tapos nung nag dip yung yield gawa ulit tayo ng ganito yung uh, two to the k analysis tapos first order model ulit if um wala siyang um LOF mag MSA run actually tayo ulit no pero in this case since may LOF tayo kaya tayo nag upgrade to CCD and from CCD we produce a second order model and now that we have the second order model pwede na tayong makakuha ng optimized run okay so that's it uh thank you for listening and sorry to keep you waiting mga ano no itong mga magka-campaign you can now begin your campaign uh but before that tanong ko lang Martin do you have any questions and Loris may questions ba kayo about the lesson today none so, none sir none so far okay so that's good. Uh, uh, I'll give the floor to the mga magka-campaign kung sino man yung mauna kayo na bahala. So since una pumasok, uh, same party ba kayo lahat? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sige, so kayo na mag-decide kung paano yung ano nyo. Go ahead. I'll give the floor to you guys. Kailangan nyo ba mag-share screen? I Kailangan ko bang i-ano? Allow yung share screening sa inyo? Uh, kahit di naman po okay lang. Okay. Well, okay, you can start. Right. Uh, thank you po muna sa pag, pag alaw po sa amin na mag-RTR siya. Thank you po. Mahigit isang taon na ang lumipas mula nung unang dumating ang COVID-19 sa bansa. Ngunit dulot ng kapabayaan ng ating administrasyon, patuloy lamang lumalalang ating kalagayan. Maraming manggagawa ang nawala ng trabaho, maraming estudyante ang huminto sa pag-aaral, maraming frontliners ang pinabayaan at inabuso, at maraming pumanaw dahil sa kakulangan ng serbisyo medikal. Sa gitna ng krisis na dulot ng pandemya, laganap pa rin ang fake propaganda, red tagging, activist crackdowns at human rights violations. Ang hamon ng panahon sa ating mga kabataan ay pagtibayin ang ating pagkakaisa. Sa kabila ng takot at pangangamba, narito ang Engineering Student Council upang pakinggan at samahan ang bawat estudyante sa kanilang pakikibaka. Ang panawagan ng UP Prime, tuloy ang laban, ininyero ng bayan. I'm Wawu Gonzalez. I am Lyra Gamban and we are your ESC counselors. From the Department of Mining, Metallurgical and Materials Engineering, I am Alice Garcia. You sumaod, your Triple M representatives. And we are Prime, Progressive Responsive Innovative Movement in Engineering. Engineering, hindi kayo nag-iisa dahil kami inyong kasama. Kasama, para sa ka, kapit bisig. Sa dami ng bagay na iniintindi natin bilang estudyante, tagdag pa ang mga org works, lalo na ang mga iniintindi rin natin sa ating tahanan, ay hindi na natin naiisip ang ating sariling kalagayan, lalong-lalo na ang ating mental health. Kaya binabahagi namin sa inyo ang Engage. Sa Engage, kami na inyong inihalal sa ESC ang mismong lalapit sa inyo upang kamusayin ang inyong kalagayan. Mapa mental health man o emergencies gaya ng mga sakuna. Para sa sa Sandigan, recently lang ay nag-announce ang CHED tungkol sa flexible learning kung saan ipagpapatuloy pa rin ang online classes dahil sa lumalalang kaso ng COVID sa bansa. Pero marami pa rin students ang napag-iiwanan dahil either walang gadgets or data na magamit para dito. Kaya naman, paigtingin namin ang safe project para tugunan ang kakulangan sa data at magpapahiram din kami ng laptops or tablets sa mga students sa ingit na nangangailangan nito. Dahil sa kasalukuyang sitwasyon, nagiging malabo na ang komunikasyon sa loob ng ating pamantasan. Hindi na pakikinggan at nasusuri ang lahat ng ating mga hinaing kung kaya't patuloy na bumibigat ang pasanin ng mga estudyante. Upang solusyonan ito, isusulong namin na magkaroon ng consultative academic situation evaluation of case upang magkaintindihan at makapag-compromise sa natitirang araw ng eskwela. Para sa ma, mandato, Alam niyo ba na noong 2019 elections, 31% ng naitalang registered voters sa Pilipinas ay 18 to 30 years old o young adults? Bilang mga kasama sa age group na ito at bilang mga future na inhenyero ng bayan, naisiparating ng konseho sa komunidad ng engineering ang kahalagahan nating lahat na makilahok, makibaka at makisama patungo sa positibong pagbabago. Dito papasok ang voting, isang information dissemination campaign at series of educational discussions on government leaders 
leadership and community issues for voters. Kaya naman maging sa pagsubok, laban o gawa, kami ay inyong kasama. And here are your Triple M representatives for their specific plans of action. Mga ka-Triple M, andito na ang may gayuma online sellers na hindi nang i-scam. Ready na ba kayo? Imay nyo na! Para sa ating unang item, M. More financial aid, load assistance, and thesis grants. Ang sunod naman nating item ay is inform. Sa Project Kamalayan, we will ensure a stronger and more continuous online presence on our social media platforms. The academic calendar will be brought online and students will also receive announcements from email and text blast. They can access a year-long grievance form online and through text. More kamusta sessions will be held during the SEM to raise the concerns of the students. Para naman sa ating huling item, E. Educate. Review sessions and video tutorials will be held. Game nights and movie nights on our Discord tambayan will also serve as our stress relievers. Hindi to scam, kaya in-line nyo na yan! Sa so, Maigayuma, makakasigurado kayong i-deliver namin lahat niyan sa inyo. Uh, sa puntong ito, meron po ba tayong mga katanungan? Kung wala na po tayong katanungan para naman sa chairperson ng University Student Council mula sa UP Prime, kasamang lakas na ipapamalas, kasama si Jonas, Jonas, Jonas Abadilia, incumbent UP Engineering Student Council External Affairs Counselor at ngayon ang inyong susunod na USC chairperson. Sa darating naman pong June 7 ay dumulo tayo sa ating meeting de avance. At syempre, sa June 9 to June 14 naman po ang ating university elections. Let's aim for 100% voters turnout. Huwag din natin kalimutan mag para sa Halalan 2022. Para sa taglines. Uh, else? Ayan. For Triple M representatives, pagising ko kayo ang nasa isip, hatid lingkod hanggang sa panaginip ko si kayo ang pinipili ko. Oh, oh, tara nasa, my ga, gayuma, my ga, gayuma, my ga, gayuma, my ga, gayuma. Para sa my ga, mas kersiya. Sa true lang, walang lies. Kaya ano pang inihintay nyo, go the extra distance with miles. At para naman sa yuma, Yusaira Maon, gusto nyo ba ng Triple M representative na maaasahan? Triple M rep na hindi kayo bibiguin. Kay Yusa, mapapa, Yusa na all kayo. And we are my Gayuma. Mas kursi and Yusa Maon, your Triple M representatives. And now for your ESC counselors, gagampanan, walang iiwanan, servisyong tapat, para sa mga ininyero ng bayan. Dahil kami ang gawa. It's Wawu and Lyra gawa. Tatak mo sila, tatak mo sila gawa. Cancel sila, cancel sila gawa. Para sa ga, gamban, Lyra gamban. Lyra, Lyra, G, Lyra, G, na G, G, na G, sumama sa komunidad natin kaya tara na. Lara, Lara, G, Lara, G, na G, G, na G, tumunong sa inyong lahat, kaya halit ka na. G, na G, na pakinggan ang boses nyo. G, na G, na gambanan ang kanyang trabaho. At G, na G, na makasama kayo. Basta kay Lara, G, G, na G tayo. Once again, what is up everyone? It's your girl, Lara, gamban, Lara, gamban, Lara, G. G, na G, to be your next ESC counselor. Para sa wa, wawu, wawu Gonzales. Counselor na maasahan, bigyan na jacket yan. Counselor na mapagkakatiwalaan, bigyan na laptop yan. Counselor na wow na wow, 5,000. Wow, wow, woo. Si wow, woo. Ihalal sa ESC, sa counselor na to, hindi ka magsisisi. Wow, wow, woo. Panalo ang marami kapag pinasok nyo sa ESC. Sinong counselor nyo? Edi wow, woo. Uh, wow, Gonzales, your ESC counselor. And we are Gawa, Lyra Gamban, and Wawu Gonzalez, your ESC counselors. Sa nakaraang taon, we put the mass in motion. Ngayon naman, ang ating itutuloy ang laban. Tuloy ang ating laban para sa inklusibong edukasyon. Tuloy ang laban para sa kabuoang kalusugan. Tuloy ang laban para sa mga leader ng bagong henerasyon. 
Tuloy ang laban para sa inhinyero ng bayan. We lead, we serve, we excel. Engineering, it's prime time. Thank you po. Thank you. Po. Thank you. Well, if ever po may question kayo, pwede nyo po kaming i-reach sa aming uh, Facebook pages at social media accounts. Ayun lang po. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Wala bang question? Martin, Loris, wala kayong question? Wala naman po sir. Mukhang nahihiya lang sila. Sige. Thank you uh, mga nagka-campaign for your wonderful voices. Natuwa naman, <laughs> natuwa naman kami. Okay, so eh, if my question kay may link silang sinan, no? Dito sa pages. Hindi ko alam kung makikita to sa ano, sa recording. No? Pero anyway, uh, thank you again. Tapos, uh, pwede na kayong umalis if okay na. Thank you, boss. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. Good luck. So before we end the session, I don't know, Martin and Luis, meron ba kayong additional questions for? Because may time pa tayo, no? Ten o'clock pa lang. Bakak may questions kayo about your projects or ano ba? Ah, kung gusto niyo magpa-consult, pwede ngayon. Sir, okay lang po ba na ano, yung sa sample namin is uneven like 22 kasi po na, ngayon lang namin nalaman na yung iba palang akala namin freshies, eh, shifties, and transferi kaya inalis po namin. Okay. Uh, ano nga ulit yung um, design nyo? Yung ano po, uh, two-way. Two-way ANOVA po. 